always carry a parasite. How's it going everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac and thank you for joining me on another Cobra Kai reaction series. Today, we are continuing off and actually I'm going to be finishing season 5 of Cobra Kai. This one is season 5, episode 9, Survivors. Last time we had that big Sakai Takai tournament. It wasn't really a tournament, it was just basically like a, a qualifying match to see which dojo would end up going to the Sakai Takai tournament. I guess that's probably like redundant, like saying ATM machine, but you know what I'm saying. And there was a really couple of really good fights. Hawk took it easy on Kenny and Kenny ended up taking advantage of that and really hurting Hawk, not just, you know, mentally, but physically as well. He did that, like, weird knuckle punch thing to a solar plexus, and it just, like, I thought it broke a rib, but I guess he just got his wind knocked out of him. Tori ended up leaving, and luckily she did tell Sam that, you know, she was the one that won the tournament, and she left Cobra Kai, so I'm sure she's not going to have a good time this episode. Just right here it says Tori pays a price for defiance, so that sounds like it's going to be a fun time for her. Anyway, guys, I just really want to jump into this episode, so if you like my reaction and want to see more like it, please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm, and subscribe, and hit that little bell in the corner, because it I'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and barely ever stream. And uh, if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Patreon and everything else is down below. And I guess without any further ado, let's jump straight into this episode of Cobra Kai. Again, it's Season 5, Episode 9, Survivors. Let's do it. It's getting close to a season finale, so I got my tissues ready in case uh, my eyes start leaking. They get so tired, they just uh, can't keep the water in. Hey, have you seen Sam? Oh! Why is she fighting? You knew all along that Silver cheated at the Old Valley and you did nothing? Ooh, and Tori's not gonna fight back, I don't think. Sam, that's enough! She's been working with Priest this whole time! What? You're a coward! I knew this was a mistake. Robbie's gonna go talk to her and he's gonna be able to get through to her, I think. Do you know about any of this? No. <laughs> I just love that they're just friends, you know? That's just, it feels so right. All right, little Lawrence. The hell am I looking at? Our kid is a human, right? <laughs> yes, Johnny. Barely at that stage. Holy shit, that was a kick. Your baby looks very healthy. I can't believe we made this little miracle together. It's Robbie, I never went to the appointments. I didn't realize what it'd be like to see how our kid starts out. <sighs> it's starting off very happy, and that's making me uneasy because something bad's gonna happen. And I don't want it to, but that's gonna make the show interesting, so I want it to. <laughs> Speaking of something bad... Mr. Lawrence, what do you want? What you and your partner have accomplished is a joy if you get to experience. I told you about the baby. I was talking about you and Maruso. Apparently there's lots to celebrate. But he knew he was there, right? I understand how important the next generation is. S keep stepping so up to Johnny, man. Every moment before it's gone. That threat wasn't the ponytail prick so left. <laughs> ponytail prick. It wasn't so thinly veiled. I really don't think he's coming after us right now because he can't jeopardize his spot in the tournament. Now it's safe. I guess. I don't know. I would say it's safe, but it's never safe from him. Sure, Carmen would love to help me finish an entire bottle of tequila. In her state, not a good idea. Always good to have clear mind. Oh, she doesn't know. Oh, are you saying what we think you're saying? Yeah. Carmen's pregnant? That's wonderful! I broke a few. <laughs> They've even come far, haven't they? <laughs> Johnny, you gotta let me make it up to you, you know, for blowing up the car. My boy can hook us up with a free limo. Uh, come on. Hey! Don't Anoush, fuck this up, man. We're going man. out. Johnny knocked up his girl. Oh. <laughs> I'd love to celebrate the guy who punched me in the gut at work. I bet. <laughs> He's still not there, is he? Wait, okay, so Sensei Targaryen paid off the rest of the Empire <laughs> and increased for a crime he did. Sensei Targaryen! <laughs> Oh shit, Dimitri. If this ref and Stingray are on Silver's payroll, they'll never admit to anything. Stingray's still my friend. Do you think you can get him to talk? Ooh, Bert. Is that Bert? Bert's on a mission. Nichols, double time. Why is she still there? I mean, I know she had that fight with Sam, but how did they even allow her back? They'll all pay for that little stunt they pulled with the Sakai Taikai. And the next time an unwanted pest lands on our arm, we will swap them. Speaking of unwanted pest and Cobra Kai... To what do we owe the pleasure? We came here to apologize. I let you down. I didn't understand at the time, but I realized now I was wrong. I shouldn't have just left. I should have taken you all with me. <laughs> okay. There is pain in this dojo, and it's built upon fear. Because this man is not your sensei, he is your enemy. But it's not too late. This seems like a dumb move, though. Why do you think any of this would work? There's still another way. Now it's my turn to speak. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're soldiers. There's a difference between being heard and being listened to. They heard you, Tori. but they listened to me. He's not backing down, though. We've got some training to do. Sensei Targaryen. 
That's the best. Step foot in this dojo again. What will you show them? No mercy, sir! Even Devin, though, man. Like, you were with Eagle Fang. You had friends in Eagle Fang. Why the hell is she there? I get that he was trying to get through to Kenny, but that seems like it would just make everybody else withdraw into Cobra Kai, you know? Like, don't you tell me what to do. I'll do what I want. Do me a favor, okay? I've got a feeling this is going to be a long night. Can you open your jacket for me? What weapons does he have? <laughs> no weapons allowed. <laughs> Always carry a pair of Psy with you. What are you getting? White Claw sounds badass. <laughs> I heard those are good. I never, I don't like alcohol. No drink must keep my shop if silver attacks. I'm giving you permission to take a break tonight. Wrong guy then, I stick. Going in hard. Going in really hard. Curry! 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 One wrong move and you could be killed. They're d and and aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Dungeons and Dojos. <laughs> when is this coming, Stranger Things? Metallicus, who plays the most bodacious tune. Damn, Metallica is getting all the love from Netflix these last few months. D12 of psychic damage. Does this shirt, it's dangerous to go alone, take this, sell the shirt? Dungeons and Dojos. Oh, oh Bert! It is. What's up, Hell yeah. Dude? Uh... Miyagi Fangs? <laughs> Get off. We know Crease never hurt you. You lied to the court, but you're not going to lie to us. If the wake was fake, wouldn't that mean you were scamming yourself out of money and not the villagers? Not one of my smarter plans. <laughs> <laughs> They're going through plot holes in Karate Kid Part 3, yeah? Two. Part two. Yeah. Part two. I'll get the next round. I can get uh, no. I will get. <laughs> is quite special. How you doing? I'm not sure. My whole life was haunted by one stupid kick. The kick wasn't the problem. I had to stop focusing on what was behind. Johnny has grown up so much in these last few seasons. We are same. Both to make mistakes. Now you have friends, children. I always wanted same thing. You tell me you don't have some special lady waiting for you back in Okinawa? Still better. There is one woman. Very special. No. Are, is he, him and uh, Kimiko gonna hook up? That would be perfect. Like everything coming full circle for him. And he's earned it. You know, he's a better person. Oh, shit. I haven't seen this since part three. This is your enemy. Destroy it. Is that slate? It's solid stone. I'll break my hand. I'm going home. You will go home when the lesson is over. Mm. Not hard enough. That was some good sound. <laughs> Are you even trying? Something is holding you back. The boy, isn't it? You act strong. Inside, you're soft. That's not true. You care more about this boy than your own dojo. I broke up with him because of this dojo, you bitch! Damn, Tori. She has given everything to this dojo, and now she's given her body. You made the right choice. Let's hope you keep making them. Lesson over. Man, she is super cold, but she was like literally raised in Jing Sudo. Hey, kitten, what's up? Who hurt you? How does it feel? <laughs> you just stab a grown man in the back. Hey, Stingray, how does it feel to hang out with a little kid as a grown man? <laughs> My dad went through a lot of pain because of you and Silver. A lot of other people will too. If I tell you what really happened, he'll find out. I can't. You've already said everything right there. Um, wait. I've been working on this new D&D &D campaign. Once upon a time, there was a dwarven monk. <laughs> He was banished for this a time. Is, this know. is clever of Stingray. PC crap. Once he paid his penance, he returned. By then, the guild was under new leadership. He made a pact with a silver-haired king who would usurp the leader. And it was early one morning that the king struck the monk down. And again and again. They framed the leader for the assault. And the leader was put in chains. And the silver-haired king took over the guild. He hasn't even been to Cobra Kai since, though. Why can't he just tell everyone what really happened? The silver-haired king, you know, he almost killed the monk. So the monk fears what that king would do to keep that power. The monk's just scared. I didn't expect this kind of... I'm sorry. Deepness okay. and introspection okay. from Stingray. Like, that was some really good acting. Last night, I just met that girl. And... You don't have to apologize. We broke up. You're allowed to do whatever you want. I guess I'm just trying to understand, Sam. Apparently, you're not happy. Seeing me with someone else. Can't have it Somewhere both ways. I just wanted everything to go back to normal. But everything was based on a lie. If I knew that the tournament was rigged, then my dad wouldn't have had to shut down Miyagi Do. And maybe we wouldn't have. Seems like it's your issues, Sam. 
I know that you hate Dory. You have plenty of reasons to. Not as many as Miguel has to hate Robbie, and he's forgiven him. The fact of the matter is, is that she did admit it. And now it's up to you to decide what to do about it. That's what Miyagi Do is. You gotta be the better person. You just feel bad he doesn't have a date. It's bad that Kokomo chick lives a million miles away. <laughs> You mean Kumago? The way Chosen talks about her, he's got it bad. Hook that up, Daniel. Ah, very good. Six blocks of ice. One strike. Cat knocked over my water. Johnny may have let something slip about Kumago. Oh, I was hoping he did not say anything. <laughs> Chosen, I had no idea you had feelings for her. He fought to the death over her. <laughs> Kumiko and I were children. I would hide and she would always find me. After my disgrace, I tried to hide from everything. Kumiko, find me again. Her kindness brought me back. Does she know how you feel? No. In a club, he'd be like, does she know how you feel? What? Does she know how you feel? What? <laughs> what I did to her, unforgivable. You've done all you can to make up for what you did back then. Kumiko knows that. Yeah, she's the one that connected you two again. Maybe now it's your turn to go after her. Thank you, Daniel-san. Let's hit that dance floor. You once the life of the party in Okinawa. See those 80s Japanese moves. Hey. I like seeing everybody having a good time. Hey, he, he even came out. Hell yeah. What are you doing here, man? Why, you were too good to go out with the rest of It's his sister. No, no, no. Hey, how are you? That's it. Are you dating my sister? <laughs> I was going to... Oh! What the hell are you doing? This is their first fight, really? I mean, they got their ass kicked a few times, but... Classic Louie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't leave her a message. Hi, this is Chosen. No. <laughs> How are you doing? And why are you speaking in English to her? The reason I am calling is... <sighs> don't do it. Not over the phone. Not drunk. I would like to see you when I come home very much. Come on, we're gonna hit another bar. You in? Must go. Very important mission. I am glad I came here, Kumiko. But uh, I make a one big mistake. I should have taken you with me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Yeah. You let that one slip out, huh? Party time! <laughs> Chosen needs to slow it down. It's way past my bedtime, baby. Boys night out, time for a fight! Now we party! Yeah, Come on! Here we go! What are you doing here? Oh my god, what happened? Don't pretend like you care. If you're having problems with Cobra Kai, he'll be willing to listen. That's literally an open door. That's a step. Hmm. Was that cancer that she had, or was it something else? I can't remember. I wanted to win the All Valley more than anything. When they handed me that trophy, that was the best moment of my life. Then I saw Silver in that ref. I felt like a fraud. And I want to get back at Silver so bad. Then I just got caught up in more lies, and now my life is a living hell. She's lying to everybody and herself. Maybe we can help each other. Stingray basically admitted it was Silver who assaulted him in the old dojo, but he's too afraid to go to the police. Problem is, we can't prove it. Maybe we can. Surveillance footage, all right. But I'm sure Silver would have deleted that or scrubbed it or something. You really broke down Nichols today. Your younger students show more potential. If we're successful, Cobra Kai will go on forever. What if your enemies manage to crush this dream? I'm not gonna let that happen. I have a tiger? What's going on here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Told me about Ness. As long as you respect her. What's going to happen? Did Silver sent somebody to crash into them? It's the thrill of the fight rising up to the challenge of our rivals. What's going to happen? Oh no. It's taking forever. Yeah, we should have been there by now. You see where the party limit went? Parked right here. No. I think you're going the wrong way. Y'all three have cell phones. Call the cops. What is he gonna do? Well, I'm gonna have to obviously watch the last one. I don't Fuck! Lord of the Rings just came out, but I'm gonna have to watch this first. Alright everybody, that was Cobra Kai Season 5, Episode 9, Survivors. That was a good episode all throughout, but right up to the end that I figured something was off. They're all drunk, everyone's having a good time. It was pretty much a good time right from the beginning of the episode. So I just, I felt off from the get go because it is, you know, very late in the season and something big is gonna happen to hook us into for season six. And they somebody ended up stealing the the limo and driving with it. I don't know what, whether, he's not gonna kill those three, is he? Like, Silver just would not straight up murder them. I mean, maybe he would though, I mean, 
he does have global aspirations and I mean what what did uh Stingray say in his, his Dungeons and Dojos campaign, you know? The king wants global domination, he wants power and he'll stop at nothing to get that. So I don't know if he's planning to drive it off a cliff or into a lake or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to go jump into the last episode right now so I can watch some uh, Lord of the Rings afterwards. But anyway, guys, what did you think of that episode on that cliffhanger? Uh, you guys let me know in the comment box down below. Uh, and if you like my reaction and want to see more like it, please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe. And hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and barely ever stream. And uh, if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Patreon and everything else is down below. And with the Patreon, you're going to get these reactions full length and a week or weeks before the YouTube audience. So if that interests you, please go check that out. If not, they'll be up here on the YouTube eventually. And uh, I guess that's going to be about it for me. So thank you so very much for watching. You know I love and appreciate every single one of you. And remember, if you're going to go outside, keep wearing a mask. Don't be an ass. And I will see you all next week for the season five finale of Cobra Kai. Take it easy, guys. Okay, bye.